Hello! Okay, so the, I am recording this series as a kind of like a tutorial for my kid. Um, she wants to know how to play it. And so, yeah, that's what we're doing. So it's upon request from her. And we are going, let's get started. So we obviously want our character to be a female. You can choose those two looks. And I think we're going to go with glasses this time. And then we're going to change our hair to red. Continue. We're going to go ahead and keep this just the way it is uh, hmm. we are going to call her that's a good name for her um, we'll just call her Sophie so we will play with Sophie since my character that I play by myself is called crazy Space bar to select, escape, pause menu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome here. You will do some work as a veterinarian. Feel free to look around. Go into town and buy medicine. Use the task button to learn more. Okay. So, this shows your tasks and goals. Okay. Um, this is information. Um, on Bert or on the animals that we can treat. This is an overview of the map basically and this shows you information like we have $600 so um, yeah okay so they want us to go to town which town is at out the back or out this way the front door, I should say. Now, um, in the beginning, I like to keep at least, um, we don't have to worry about food because we don't have the ability to house pets oh, overnight right sure. now. But what I like I do for you? to keep um, 10 of everything in stock. I've learned that from my from playing that ensures I don't run out and it costs a little bit up front to do that but then um, you only have to pay to keep it that way. So, if we have to, we will get a loan. Which it looks like we're going to have to. Because we're just that antibiotic. So, we're going to buy this. Okay, we're going to come back for those last three. Ah, that's our pause menu. May I help you with anything else? We are going to go to the bank. Bye. Hello. May I help you with anything else? We're going to get a loan. Um, we are just going to borrow a thousand dollars and then what can I do for you thank you for coming by see you soon we are gonna go back hello 
in here. What can I do for you? We're gonna purchase medicine. Okay, so we got the strengthening drug. We got that one. We don't got the painkiller. The we don't have this. I do want to say that if you want to save a little money in the beginning, um, you don't have to get the dewormer. I would say. Because I'm in my single player world, I am to the stage where I can have cats. I mean, uh, street cats. And I didn't have to, I didn't end up using my dewormer until, um, until that. And then we're going to put 10 eye drops. Oh, I just bought 20 of that. Damn it. Well, we won't run out of that for a while. That just means... Can I help you? We are going to have to work before we can... See you soon. We're going to run over here. To medical okay. soul supply. What can I do for you? I haven't used that yet, but I have had to use this, and I don't have enough for that. So we're what gonna can go. I do for you? Go, we're gonna go home. Oh, yeah. I hope we see each other soon. Or back to our vet practice. Call guinea pig. Yes, please. Can you please check? There seems to be something wrong with my pet. Okay, so Lazy, my pet is pet's eye is injured. The pet's name is Lazy, by the way. From what it looks like, straw. From what looks like straw. And is watering. My pet keeps it clenched shut all the time. Examination. Examine the eyes with the magnifying glass. So then we are going to... Take our magnifying glass. We are going to use our arrow keys to move so we can see the head. And we're going to click on I, see where it says Y. And then we're just going to move this magnifying glass around on the guinea pig's uh, eye. So now it wants us to... Drip eye drops into the eye and remove the straw using the four sets. So we are going to drip the eye drops in the eye. You could do the four sets first if you want. I just figured that maybe the eye drops would numb it for the little pet so it would be more comfortable. And we earned $55. Goodbye. New task, treat a rabbit. Call yes, a rabbit. Please. Can you please check? There seems uh. to be something wrong with my animal. Okay, so our pet's name is Cupcake. They're a rabbit. My pet is moving around much more slowly than usual and seems to be in pain while moving. Examination. Perform palatation on hind legs using the glove. And the same thing on front legs and take the rabbit's temperature in it on its rear. So, we're going to take our gloves and we're going to click on front legs and we're just going to 
move our hand as we're feeling around on the rabbit's leg like so painful area has been detected we're going to do the same thing to the hind legs okay and then we're going to click on our thermometer and click on its rear take its temperature it's normal inject painkiller into the hind legs so it's diagnosed the rabbit with arthritis and inject cartilage strengthener into the hind legs so now we click on our needle our syringe it said pink cartilage strengthener was one we're going to inject that into the hind legs yeah painkiller and then we're going to grab our painkiller which is this green bottle inject it into the hind legs and it's done so now we've done rabbits now we got to treat a bird so now we wait um, it ought, the game doesn't save until you sleep or until 7 o'clock p.m. 7. So at 7 marks the end of the day. And so she automatically, it saves and you go to the next day. Now, since we're waiting, now that I took a drink. Here is our office. We can click here and we can check our inventory. So we have for medicine, this is our inventory, what our inventory looks like. Um, food, this is what our food looks like, which doesn't really matter because we don't have inpatients. Again, we don't have inpatients. And that is our statistics. Uh, in here is the wardrobe where you can change your outfit. And here's the bed where you can sleep. Now also, we want to get our medical supplies first. But we can buy seeds and plant seeds over there. May plant some pretty flowers. Next, please. Please have a look. My sweetheart needs help. Okay, Christy the guinea pig. My animal has rashes all over its body and is scratching itself constantly. It also has diarrhea. Perform a palatation on the chest using the glove. Examine the mouth using the glove. Examine the ears using the mouth or glove. Collect a stool sample. Okay, so chest, mouth, ears with the glove. So, chest, painful area, ears, and we are going to use our left arrow key to, to hit twice so we can get the mouth. You don't want it to go red. Because then you get an X right there. Okay, so then we're going to hit our right um, arrow until we come to the butt. 
and we are going to take a stool test on its rear. You can tell because it says white. So, anti-inflammatory ointment to chest and abdomen. Okay. So, like, uh, anti-inflammatory. So, like, see how it says back red? That means it doesn't go there. If you um, make a mistake, it's a chest and abdomen. Okay. So, anti-inflammatory on the abdomen. And then it wanted an immune suppressive, which is the blue medicine. Treatment was successful. We made sixty-one dollars. Bye. Take care. Oh, we have another pet in here. Hi, yes, call please. hamster. Please have a look. My sweetheart Kay. needs help. Banded. My sweetheart has been restless for a few days and keeps scratching itself. Perform pa palpitation on the chest using a glove. Examine the chest and agnify uh, an abdomen with magnifying glass. Okay. So chest. Coat is unkept. Magnifying glass. Chest. Um, abdomen. Parasites has been spotted. Okay. So, we have diagnosed banded the hamster with a minor par parasite infection. So the treatment of that is to disinfect ears, chest, and abdomen, and then apply a antiparasitic to the ears, chest, and abdomen. So let's get our disinfection. We go in here, grab a swab, Click on this with the swab. Click on our disinfectant. So on the chest, we do the same thing. Abdomen. Be careful when the pet moves. And one more. And I think it said ears. Right. So now it wants us to apply an, did it say ointment or injection? Ointment, okay, yeah, I was right. An antiparasitic, which is this red ointment, ears, chest, abdomen. Okay, we earned seventy-four dollars from that. Treatment was successful. Hey, hey. Goodbye. Next We're gonna call please. Rabbit. Is Ill. Please have a look. All right, Penny, the rabbit. Our pet is sniffling and its eyes are watering. It's not eating properly and seems to get tired more quickly than usual. So on examination, we are going to use. The, we're going to listen to his chest with this stethoscope. We are going to perform. We're going to feel around his chest with our glove. Also, palpitation or whatever. We are going to also measure the animal's temperature. So now we can. Let's go ahead and. We can hit our right button twice, go to the rear, take its temperature. It has a slight 
fever. Then we're going to hit our left key arrow key one, two, three, four times. And then we're going to click, move it just a hair, click, click again. Um, its breathing is increased. Then we're going to grab our glove and we're going to just feel around, see if we feel any lumps, any critters, like parasites, but usually they do the magnifying glass for that. So, see if anything's swollen. Okay. Nothing unusual can be felt. So, our diagnosis is a minor inflammation of the lungs. Inject an antibiotic into the hind legs. Inject a strengthening drug into the hind legs. So we're going to take our needle. We're going to get our antibiotic, which is the yellow. We are going to inject it into its hind legs. We are going to grab another syringe, and the strengthening drug is here. This is the strengthening drug. This is cartilage strengthener. They do two different things. There we go. Treatment was successful. Now the animal can be taken well. home. See you soon. See you soon. Okay, now why we're waiting on customers. This is going to be the first thing we buy is this over here. What this does is it allows us to keep them overnight. And we don't have the funds right now. So we're not. We are actually going to go and hang out in our office while we wait. Oh, someone is here. Hello, can I help you? Next, please. Please have a look. My sweetheart needs help. Okay, so this is a bird. His name is Bart. One foot of my bird is enlarged and the other is being favored. The swollen area is very red. So we want to examine the legs with a magnifying glass and take a bacterial sample. Okay, so we're going to take a bacterial sample first. So we just kind of, it's easier if we do this. Maybe. Yeah, there it goes. It's not really the legs. That's more or less the st lower stomach, but okay. Upper legs, I guess. <clears throat> Bacteria have been detected. All right, so then we're going to take our magnifying glass and get it on the legs. Its hit boxes are weird. Okay, foot is inflamed. So, our diagnosis is ball sores. Our treatment is to disinfect the legs, inject antibiotic into the chest, and apply healing ointment to the legs. So, let's disinfect our legs. And disinfect our healing ointment to the legs, which is this is yellow one. Now we're going to give a shot of antibiotic, which is the yellow, 
into the chest. And just like that, Bard is done. Take care. Task fulfilled. It looks like as if whatever small animal is brought to you, you know exactly what to do. Maybe you should review your medicine stock. Buy the small, okay, new task. Buy the small animal house so you will be able to take on animals needing long-term care because of the nature of their illnesses. Explore the yard to find the small animal See house. Soon. Yeah, but we don't really have enough money for it yet. So, it might take us a couple days. But they're talking about this over here. How much is it even? Yeah, it's 650 and we don't have it. Um, well, we can ask for, so let's go back over here while we're waiting on. So the next thing after the small animal house, I see them, is the cattery, which allows us to hold cats. Let's go treat this patient. Next, please. Please have a look. My sweetheart needs help. So, Eddie the guinea pig. My animal's eye is clearly injured. It is red and the animal is clenching it shut all the time. It, it is also very watery. Examination. Examine the eyes with the magnifying glass. Okay. So, we're going to click on our magnifying glass. We're going to click our left arrow key twice. We're going to click on the eye and we're just going to move this around in circles around the eye like so the eye is pinched and reddened a strong tear flow ha ha can be seen on closer examination a small wound is visible so our diagnosis is a minor corneal injury and we are going to treat it with eye drops so we click on our eyedropper. Like so. And he can be taken home. Oh we are someone else showed up. Next please. Hello. Okay, so this is Yum Yum or Yum Yum, the guinea pig. I would like to have my pet vaccinated so it will stay healthy and happy. Okay, so when you have this, you, well, I was going to tell you. Examination, we're going to listen to its chest with the stethoscope, and we're going to measure its temperature, and then we will give it a vaccine. So we are going to take out our stethoscope and listen to it. Heart sounds healthy. We are going to take his temperature by hitting the right button twice, arrow button. Temperature is normal. We're going to give it a vaccination. So we take our needle, click on this. Vaccination is the last one, the black one. We're going to inject this into its hind legs. So far, with all the animals up to cats, you inject in the hind legs unless it's a bird. Birds you inject in the chest. Bye. Goodbye. Next, please. My animal is ill. Please have a look. 
Picasso, the hamster. My pet's eye is injured from what looks like straw and is watering. My pet keeps it clenched shut all the time. So we're going to examine the eye with the magnifying glass. Okay, so we're going to hit our left arrow twice so we can go to the front. We're going to grab our magnifying glass even though we can see the straw right there. The eye is pinched and reddened. On stronger, a strong tear flow can be seen. On closer examination, the small wound with a, t a tiny piece of straw in it is visible. So, eye drops and remove straw. Eye drops. Hopefully it kind of numbs it. Forceps. Take the straw, remove it. Successful. Get well and see you soon. Take care. Okay, so while we're waiting on more patients, let's go exploring. So that's the cattery. I don't know what this will end up being, unless we upgrade it, probably. So, there is that. Uh, this is kennels, which I'm guessing is for dogs. I haven't made it that far yet. Um, um, therapy room. Where are we at? And that's fields. Ooh. Uh, yeah. That's the dogs, the kennels. Um, this is the stable. Which I'm guessing is for horses. And then this is forest. And then the beach. Now. We are going to go. Back to our office. We do have a patient waiting. Next, please. Please have a look. My sweetheart needs help. My bird tickles the budgie. My bird is constantly washing itself and is restless. Its feathers are dull and untidy. So with our glove, we are going to look at the chest, abdomen, and wings. And then we're going to use a magnifying glass on those as well. So chest, abdomen, wings. Okay, so wings. Chess. Abdomen, which looks like it's leg. Okay. Now we're going to use our magnifying glass. Chest. Dull and frazzled, abdomen, and wings.
So Tickles has mites. We are going to inject an antiparasitic into the chest. Grab a syringe. Grab our red antiparasitic chest because it's a bird. Treatment was successful. Take care. Next, please. Please have a look. My sweetheart needs help. Okay, Trixie the rabbit. Silly rabbit. Tricks are for kids. <laughs> My rabbit's nose is very sticky and it's sneezing terribly. So we're going to listen to the chest and then we're going to take the um, rabbit's temperature. So we're going to hit to go to the front so we can look. Heart sounds healthy. Now if we hit the left one again, it just goes backwards. So you just move. So we're going to take Trixie's temperature. Has a slight fever. So Trixie has the minor rabbit flu. We're going to disinfect the head and inject an antibiotic into Trixie's hind legs. We're going to do the antibiotic first just because, which is this yellow, just because we're already back here at the rear. And then we are going to flip to the head and we are going to disinfect the head. And get us fifty-two dollars. We going about my animal. Can you please take a look? Magic the guinea pig. There are reddish spots, or reddish round spots, all over the body of Magic. They are partially scabby and bold. Examine the chest with the magnifying glass and the abdomen. Okay, so, magnifying glass, chest. Guinea pigs are a little bit bigger, so it's kind of easier. I'm going, getting a little too crazy with the movements of my mouth. It's got a rash. Abdomen is back here. Okay, so we are diagnosing them with a minor fungal infection. We're going to disinfect both chest and abdomen, and then we're going to apply ointment to both of them, an antiparasitic. So disinfect. Because we want to disinfect before we apply the antiparasitic. 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 Done. Bye. Take care. We've got three hours to the end of the day. I always go to get supplies in the morning. See, we're going to need five more anti-parasitic ointments so far. We are good. We are so good on uh, disinfectant. We still have 17, 13. Uh. 
flat the garden which we don't have seeds I don't think there's anything we can do now no oh we have a patient My sweetheart needs help. Doodles the rabbit. My pet is moving around much more slowly than usual and seems to be in pain while moving. Okay. So we are going to use our glove to examine the legs and take its temperature. So glove, front legs. Painful area has been detected. Hind legs. Oh, I know, buddy. This hurts, don't it? Yes, it does. I'm really sorry that I'm going to have to stick something in your butt. <laughs> Temperature is no normal. So, Doodles has arthritis. We are going to inject him, Doodles, with a painkiller and a cartilage strengthener. So, we are going to do the painkiller first. Just because maybe... Oof, I hate shots. Maybe it helped the shot. Okay, so we're going to do a cartilage strengthener. Because that's what arthritis is. Weaken cartilage. And we got $47 for that. Next, please. My pet is ill. Please have a look. So Crumble, the hamster, that's a cute name for a hamster. He has rashes all over his body, his or her, its body, and is scratching itself constantly. It also has diarrhea. So we are going to examine with our glove the chest, the mouth, and the ears. And we're also going to collect a stool sample. Okay. So glove, ears. Painful area detected, chest, painful area detected, mouth, And then uh, it's a temperature, right? a stool sample. So we're going to collect a stool sample at the rear. Everything is fine with the animal's digestion. Crumple, feed allergy. So we're diagnosing it with a feed allergy. We're going to apply anti-inflammatory ointment to the chest and abdomen and inject an immunosuppressive to the hind legs. So anti-inflammatory, which is the green one, to the abdomen. Also to the chest. And then we're going to inject a immunosuppressive into it. Oh. Oops. I did the bad 
So I just wasted that. See what happens when them it moves. Bye. Take care. All right. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. <clears throat> okay, so in the next few videos, I will do my introduction. Um, and then I will kind of just speed it up because these days are kind of long for a video. And then when I have something to explain, I will stop the speed up process, explain to you what needs to be explained, and then go from there. So what I typically do is once the game saves and you go to the next day, I go to the med the clinic or the pharmacy, restock, um, and if I have an animal that's impatient places for them to stay, I will buy food, restock my food, and then I will come back and start treating patients. If I have inpatients, animals that stayed overnight, I will take care of them first and then come to the office to treat new ones. It's kind of how I like to play it because you have to treat your inpatients, take care of them. Now you could, I mean you have all day, like you could come back from the pharmacy, treat empty your waiting room and then go treat them, that's possible too. We might try that and see if it's more efficient. Right now we're just chit-chatting until it's seven o'clock. So we're pretty much done for the day and we're not gonna get any customers this last minute. So we are just gonna go to bed and we're going to sleep. Are you sure you want to sleep and save your progress? Yes. The day came to the end. At 7 p.m. your working day ends. You can also end the day earlier by selecting the bed inside the practice. This game will automatically save at the end of each day. So, the day came to an end. We treated 14 patients. Zero inpatients because we're not there yet. Um, we paid 140 for our loan amount, we don't have a bonus because we don't have a garden yet. We earned um, $1,749. We spent $1,645, um, which gives us a profit of $104. And now, at the, so we have a total of $704 left at the end of the day for tomorrow. It's saving. All right, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to see more, I guess it doesn't matter, but because Minnie's going to want to see more. But if you want to see more, hit that like button. It tells me, you guys, that you like or you're enjoying what you're seeing. If you don't like it, hit that dislike button so I know you don't like it. Then I could just make videos for her, but I figured... You guys might like to see what I'm up to. So this is what I'm up to, spending time with the kids over Christmas break. So anyways, I will see you guys next time.